Hey Caesar. So I heard through the grapevine that you wanted to make a craft to make specifically a card to show someone you love how much you love them. Is that true? It is true. Uh, well, you have a lot of people that you love. Is this a card maybe for Larry? Yeah, for Larry? Oh, that's a good cause. You could also make one for Gary. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> you make one for me. Don't you love me? Yeah, or maybe some of our friends that watch our show. Yeah, that'd be a good idea too. So there's lots of people we could send cards to. And I found a really cute bear card that we can make that would make people remember just how much you specifically love them. I know, wasn't that sweet? The first one I found was this cute little guy. Isn't he adorable? Now, I, I had you make this one before we filmed it, and I thought you did a great job coloring. <laughs> you didn't color it, did you? Oh, did you pay someone to color it for you? <laughs> or did you just buy them a pizza? Maybe with the pizza? <laughs> well, that was a good idea. You did a good job on that one. I also found this cute little card that we can make to remind us of the book that we read, The Bunny and the Bear card. And when you open it up inside, there's room to write your own special message. Isn't that a cute idea? So should we teach the kids how to make these cards today? Excellent. All right. So here's what we're going to do to get started, everybody. To do the, the bear coloring craft, um, if you stop in at the Herm Memorial Library, we have craft bags available. Uh, we decided to continue to do crafts for a few more weeks while school's been postponed. And um, so we're going to have you come on in and pick up these crafts. Or if you can't make it into the library, you can download this design off of the internet. We simply went to um, the Google search and we typed in bear puppets. And this is one of the first free printables that pops up. So you can find this template on the internet also. And all it is is a bear with his paws, um, his hands and his feet, and then um, a heart-shaped one. And this is a really, really simple craft to do. All that you're going to need is some glue and some crayons and some scissors. And um, you can also use markers or colored pencils. And you're just going to want to color in any color you want. If you want to make your bear purple and green and orange, go for it. We could have a purple, green, and orange bear, couldn't we, Caesar? Absolutely. Because, you know, everybody loves a purple, green, and orange bear. And when you get all of it nicely colored, try to remember, kids, to stay within the lines. But if you go outside the lines, it's okay, because I'm pretty sure Caesar goes outside the lines once in a while, right? Yeah, it's okay. Larry does, too. Larry has trouble holding the, the crayon in his hand. It keeps falling through his finger bones. Poor thing. So when you Stop it in front of me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Larry. I didn't realize you were here. I'm so glad. We're making a card for you, though, so don't look. So then you just have to cut out on the dotted lines here. And um, this is really good practice for your kiddos that are learning how to use their safety scissors. Make sure you're not using scissors with a sharp edge. And make sure that there's nothing underneath it that you don't want cut. And when you get that all colored and it's all cut out like so, and you've done the heart one also, then we can go ahead and glue. And we're going to put these over here because I went ahead da, 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 and colored these all ahead of time. How fun is that? And then you want to take your glue stick and you want to apply glue to the underside of the bear's head like so. And then in our kit, we sent home everybody with a blue sheet of paper. If you don't have blue and you want to use a different color, feel free. And we just want to glue the head on first. The next thing you want to glue on is actually the heart. And we want to put more of your glue on here. Make sure you eat glue and, or eat your pizza and not the glue. You don't want to eat glue. So be careful. You want to lay your heart just over the bottom of the bear's head. You want to make sure it overlaps a little bit because we want to give the illusion, the impression that our bear is holding the heart just under his face. So then we're going to take the paws, the top paws are the ones without the pads on them. And here again too, we just want to put a little bit of glue on here. And you want to put them kind of like on an angle to kind of make it look like the bear is holding it in his arms. A little bit closer up here. And the same with the other one. And we'll put that one on this side like so. And then for his feet, we want to put them kind of on an angle off the bottom. So they kind of look like they're just under his body. Make sure you put the three paw pads up 
on top. And that is how you make a really simple bear card. Isn't that a cute idea? Yeah? Now our other card is a little bit more complicated. It might be a little too difficult for um, some of our younger viewers, but certainly some of our older viewers um, would be able to do this without any problem. It's a 3D card. And again, at the library, we have a kit that has all everything in it that you need to make it. And if you can't come into the library, that's not a problem either because these are really easy to do. You're just going to need two different colors of cardstock. We found a light gray um, colored cardstock for the bear and an off-white cream colored cardstock for the bunny. And you're just going to want to trace um, almost three quarters of a bear's outline on one and three quarters of an outline of a bunny on the other, leaving room for the arms to intersect when you put them together. There is a pattern for this on the internet as well. And then you're going to need a square sheet of green paper that we've rounded at the tops. If you forget that part, that's okay, but we've rounded those at the top. And then you're going to need um, a little heart to put in the center. And then you're going to need a little white pom-pom for our bunny's tail. And you're going to need some black construction paper so that you can make our bear's ears and his tail as well. So the first thing you need to do after you've got your bear and your bunny template is to cut them out. And we've already done that to save time. And here is the bear and the bunny. Now, when you see the dotted lines, you don't wanna be cutting those out, those are fold lines. So you wanna take your bear and your bunny, and you wanna fold it along the dotted line as closely to it as you can get, nice and tight. And then you wanna take your glue stick. You can also use regular glue if that's all you have. But you wanna take your glue and you wanna make sure you put a good amount of it on here like so. And then take your green paper and you want to lay it on the bottom and the edge so that they line up right on the fold. And you can fold your bunny over like that. Make sure you press down good to make sure you get a good seal. And then you're gonna do the same thing with your bear. You wanna make sure you give it a good stick. And then same thing on this side. And press down and fold over like so. And so now you can see how they will connect arms and hold each other. If you want them closer to each other, you could take it out and fold it further in. Then you want to take your heart and you want to glue your heart on right in the middle. Okay, now we're going to have to make our bear's um, tail and his ears. His tail, we simply took our glue stick cap and we traced it on a piece of black paper with our pencil. I think a pizza would be a little too big for his tail, but thank you, Caesar. But you just want to trace your, your circular cap on a piece of black paper. And then you just want to cut that out. I know you like pizza, Caesar. But I don't think pizza would make a good tail for a bear. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry. All right. So there's the tail. And then for his ears, um, I already cut one out. The other one, we simply took him and we traced the shape of the ear on the black paper, like so. Oops. And we'll just erase my little mark there. And then on the black paper, we cut out the, the tracing that we made. If you want to just use a hole punch or something similar, you could use that. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly how we've done it. And then we simply will glue, oops, I got upside down. We'll just glue the ear on our bear. So we'll take our, whoops. We'll take our ears, here they are. And we'll put a little bit of glue on here. And we'll glue him on. <laughs> really, Caesar, you're disgusting. I hope you feel better. All right, there we go. 
and we'll glue our other ear on. And now we'll glue our tail on, like so, right in the middle. Now for our bunny, we're gonna use regular glue because we want our pom-pom to stick. And you're just gonna put a little bit of glue on there and then push them in there. And you're gonna to wanna to let that sit until it thoroughly dries. And then you have your finished bunny card. And what you can do is you can write a message on the inside that says, Dear Larry, you're the best. Thanks for the pizza. Love, Caesar. Or if you guys are saying to someone you love, you can just write how much you love them and appreciate them on the inside of your card. So I hope you enjoyed our crafts today, everybody. We're just going to put our little glue bottle on there so that it dries flat. And, um, and I hope you enjoyed making them as much as, fun, as much as we had fun making them for you. And I guess Caesar's going to go finish his homework. And we will look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Thanks so much. Bye.